Howdy RT aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. In today's video I am drawing in a style inspired by H.R. Geiger. Why is this? Well, March is my H.R. Geiger challenge month. After finishing my sketch I'll scan it in, add several soft light overlays in Photoshop and show that at the end of this video. This time lapse is sped up from an original drawing time of about 70 minutes. The shading in my biomechanical sketches means these tend to take me quite a while. While I've introduced today's video, you've seen me draw the first couple of biomechanical elements. The first is a cylinder on which I've placed two end caps and it started out as an HR Geiger alien head. I then added detail that implies a bony exoskeleton. For the second object, I drew a kidney shape and attached it via a tube to the cylindrical element. To this object, I added some external tubing and also elements that gave it a bony appearance. I then grabbed my smudge stick and blended some of the pencil. I'm using a mix of 2B and H, the B is for shading, the H is for detail. I then move on and draw a hand and arm in a position where it appears to be reaching for the cylindrical object. I then use what I know from my previous attempt at drawing Geiger's alien to add detail to the hand and arm in the form of exposed muscles, external tendons and extrusions. I'll post a biomechanical primer video in the next few days, so be sure to check that out. If you are not a subscriber, joining my community is a great way to be notified of new content. After pondering my next move, I draw an arm coming out of a fleshy cave or tunnel-like object. At least that's what it is supposed to be. Here my shading is meant to look like crenellated skin that is fleshy and plump. To give this element some extra depth, I place it sitting on a bunch of biomechanical pipes or snakes. I find these objects are the easiest to draw. Next I begin with a skull in mind and it came out looking like something a predator would hang on his, her, its trophy wall. Again, lots of external pipes to give shape and form, also arcs with dark apexes to imply recessed thingamajiggies. As this element is a skull, I sit it atop a spinal column. The way I draw this is the same as I would a real human spine to which I add some arcs on each vertebrae to give us the Geiger look. Drawing on January's hashtag anatomy challenge, I draw a rib cage and then Geigerize it with my arc cutouts. In the end, I think that this looks more like a drone that is missing its propellers. I finish the rib cage off with my smudge stick. The final element is what I remember of a frontal view of Geiger's classic alien. Throughout March I'll be doing a mix of pencil, pen, marker and photoshop drawings in the Geiger style. When using pencil, having some sort of plan helps so you can start on the left and move right so you do not get smudges everywhere like I've gotten here. That saves time having to go over certain parts of the drawing to sharpen up details you have blurred. Something to keep in mind if you have a go at this style and something you'll see in my How to Draw Praying Manners video which will be up in a few days. Here's the final piece scanned in. I added about 5 coloured areas as an upper layer in Photoshop and set this layer to smooth light. That subtly shaded the darker areas of the underlying layer in the top layer colour. Have a go at Geiger's biomechanical style yourself and share your results with me either in the comments or on one of my social media accounts. Anywho, if you have found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook or journal, etc., subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao and take care.